phantom instrument playing at rock concert doesn't seem like the same old situation for notorious rock band Motley Crue. While being more common for older rock bands to use backing tracks, rumors have been floating around for years that Motley Crue has been using pre-recorded tracks at their live shows. And this was confirmed by ex-guitar player for the band, Mick Mars. To really unpack this story in detail, we have to take a quick trip down memory lane. Motley Crue was started in 1981 by bass player Nicky Six and drummer Tommy Lee. Lead vocalist Vince Neil and lead guitarist Mick Mars then later joined in completing the band and Motley Crue's 40-year spree of Raising Hell began. The band first gained popularity due to their crazy live shows, even going as far as lighting themselves on fire just to put on a good show for rock fans as Nikki Six was notorious for doing on multiple occasions. The band's long history of controversy and problems throughout the years due to their substance use and hard partying ways are subject for another video. There is basically nothing these bad boys of rock and roll haven't done. However, the one thing they haven't done is being caught faking their music. Motley Crue has seen a rise in popularity in recent years due to the movie documentary about the band's history being released in 2019 titled The Dirt. This popularity has allowed the now aging band to get back together and tour the United States in 2022, and now the whole world in 2023 and 2024. This is where today's problems arise. In 2023, guitarist Mick Mars, now aged 72, officially announced he was retiring from the band. However, he claimed in a later interview he was forced out of the band to be replaced with John Five. This would lead Mick Mars to sue his former band. When Mick Mars announced his retirement from touring with Motley Crue, he stated that he would remain a member of the band, with John Five taking his place on the road playing live shows. However, this did not happen. As in Early April 2023, Mars filed a lawsuit against Motley Crue in Los Angeles County Superior Court, claiming that after his announcement, the rest of Motley Crue tried to remove him as a significant stakeholder in the group's corporation and business holding via a shareholders meeting. During a recent hearing, a Los Angeles judge ruled that Motley Crue had unjustly refused to cough up the documents on its wide-ranging business dealings as it simultaneously sought to oust its former guitarist early last year, essentially refusing to let Mick Mars view documents about the band's ownership agreement as they were in the process of removing Mars from the band. In a new court ruling acquired and reported on by the Rolling Stones, the LA judge said the band Motley Crue stonewalling left Mars with no choice but to sue for the documents withheld from him last April. The Los Angeles judge explained that after the filing, the band took eight months to make a final document dump to Mars last month, much longer than it should have taken. Considering the delay, the judge ruled that Mars is now entitled to have the band cover his legal bill. A massive victory for McMars as Motley Crue not only has to cover Mars's legal fees, but the judge is now clearly showing that he is beginning to side with McMars. Mars also claimed the band was using backing tracks, essentially fake music playing at their recent live shows. The band denied this claim and even took their anger and frustration to social media about this. However, this could not have happened at a worse time as the band already had been receiving hate from fans due to lead singer Vince Neil's terrible vocals at the live shows, sometimes even appearing not to know the words to the songs. This issue, as well as accusations about backing tracks, have not helped the band's current situation, as a video of Nicky Six allegedly fake playing his bass guitar have went viral on platforms like YouTube and TikTok racking up millions of views and sparking controversy and discussion over whether or not this is significant proof of the band using backing tracks. 
Fans claim that every time Six's arm goes up to wave the audience, the bass continues playing over the speakers, which would not have been possible if Six was actually playing the instrument. It seems as if this theory has gained a lot of steam as people have also claimed that drummer Tommy Lee has used pre-recorded drum tracks instead of actually playing the instrument. Founder of the band, Nikki Six, addressed these rumors telling reporters he always stays true to his music, insinuating he would never use backing tracks. Mick Mars also has blatantly said that he was the only one performing 100% live at the band's recent shows. As we said before, Motley Crue are no strangers to controversy, and if true, backing tracks would just be another addition to the band's long list of grievances. Could this damage the legacy of the legendary rock band Motley Crue? Do you think these accusations of Motley Crue using backing tracks are true? While it is not uncommon for aging rock bands to require the assistance of backing tracks, we would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And let us know by leaving a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.